Hi, my name is Lamar Watson. Last year, I enrolled in the cosmetology program at Keystone Central High School with my friends Jordan and Desmond. Our teacher, Ms. Granger, asked if we can talk to the school about our experiences in the program and how it's going. Honestly, we did not want to because we knew she would not like what we had to say. Eventually, I did agree to share, but was still afraid of how she would respond if I told the truth. Jordan, Desmond, and I all grew up together. Desmond's grandpa owns a barber shop, and any time we were playing together, we always ended at the shop, usually because grandpa always had candy. Going to the barber shop was about more than just getting candy, though. It was just like being home. At any time, you could find us either at home, playing in the neighborhood, or at the barber shop. It was fun hanging out at the shop, listening to men crack jokes on each other, argue about sports, and just having a good time. Grandpa always kept the checkers game set up on top of an old raggedy barrel in the corner. Sometimes there would be a competitive game of checkers that led to more jokes and laughs. All the men knew us and treated us like their nephews. Listening to them tell stories and interact taught us what it meant to be a man, especially a black man in America. One day, Grandpa said if Desmond got his barbering degree, he'd give the shop to him when he retired. When Desmond told us, we decided we'd become barbers together. That was the idea anyway. When we heard barbering was a part of the cosmetology program, we enrolled immediately. Miss Granger said we could transfer to the community college once we completed the program to get a barbering degree. We were all excited, but it has not been what we expected. First, the cosmetology room is nothing like the barbershop. All the stations have sinks and female mannequin heads, which I don't really mind, but the magazines are all women's magazines. All the posters on the walls are women with different hairstyles. The creams and scents are all floral and girly. It would be nice if we had a station of our own with clippers and aftershave or cologne. We have had to learn how to do manicures and pedicures. Miss Granger even made us practice on each other, including putting on polish. I told her my dad gets pedicures because he is diabetic and it helps with his nerves and circulation, but he never gets his nails painted. Miss Granger didn't care. She said we all had to paint our nails. To enter the program, we were required to buy a $100 kit and we were not allowed to share. Jordan's family does not have a lot of money, so the school helped purchase a kit for him. Somehow, other students found out, and he has been really embarrassed by it. The guys make fun of us, saying only girls play with hair and nails. They call us gay and make other homophobic references. I'm not gay, but even if I was, so what? With the constant joking from the other boys around the school, it has been difficult. If it wasn't for Jordan and Desmond, I don't think I would have stayed in the program this long. To add to that, there aren't many other black kids at the school. At lunch, we all eat together. No white kids ever sit at our table. Almost all the teachers are white too. They wave at us but stop to talk to the kids at the white tables. The teachers, counselors, and principals all smile and act nice, but it never feels genuine. Almost like they're looking through us. It helps having my friends with me, but we have talked about dropping out of the cosmetology program. We could easily just go to the shop and learn directly from the guys there. The constant homophobic jokes and sexism makes this program really uncomfortable. Making this video is the first time I have been able to talk about my experience, but I know it's not what Miss Granger was expecting. To be honest, I'm a little nervous because people get mad when you tell the truth about your experience, but hey, at this point, it's whatever. I think this program could be great. Miss Granger really hasn't made us feel like we belong. It's more than a casual smile, nice words, and welcomes. Change requires a real discussion and listening. Adding a few haircut charts and man magazines wouldn't hurt either. What are my next steps? That depends on what comes of this video.